I'm Noelle, otherwise known as AZ Plant Lady, and with my tortoise Aesop, who likes to help me garden from time to time. He's always coming out of the shrubbery when I'm out here to see what I'm doing. But today I'm really excited to talk to you about hummingbird container gardening. Last year I was asked to do a talk for the Hummingbird Festival in Sedona, Arizona, and talk about how to create a hummingbird garden in a very small space, i.e. a pot. So to get ready for it, I decided to um, create my own so that I could speak with authority. So what I have here, um, it was very inexpensive to do this. Um, you don't need fancy pots. I got plastic pots at Walmart on sale in the fall. And I painted them um, in some of my favorite colors because I'm a firm believer that pots add vital color to the garden all year long, even if your plants aren't blooming. What I put in my containers is a mixture of um, shrubs and shrubby perennials, what I'd like to call. So I'm going to talk to you about what I have put in my pots with the goal of attracting hummingbirds. So this is uh, trailing purple lantana, lantana montevidensis, just beautifully in containers. Back here, it's not blooming right now because it's recovering from a little pruning I gave them. Um, this is a new type of Caliandra. This is called Sierra Star Fairy Duster. Caliandra Sierra Star is what this one is called. It blooms throughout most of the year and hummingbirds go crazy for the blossoms. This beautiful lime green foliage is from Mexican Honeysuckle, Justicius visigera. We get orange um, tubular blossoms on it throughout most of the year and it does great in filtered shade situations. Back here, this is um, a newer shrub which I am in love with. It is called Bluebells and um, that's Aromophila hygrophana and it produces bluish violet flowers throughout the entire year off and on. Um, and hummingbirds do love this and I love, even when all these aren't blooming, the color and the texture that the foliage adds to my garden I love and I always have the color for my pots. The back pot is um, filled with a plain acanthus and this blooms um, spring, summer, and fall and I love it. In the winter it'll lose all its leaves and flowers and it just kind of fades into the background until spring comes around again but it's my new favorite plant. I do love it. Um, keeping things real here, um, I did have some problems in the pots with the neighborhood cats wanting to use it um, as a toilet so I took some uh, pavers and I just stuck them in here under the plants and you really can't see them once they grow out and I didn't take care of the problem but you don't have to be limited um, if you don't have much garden space you can really enjoy hummingbirds in a container whether you have a, a front entry or a balcony or even if you have a large garden like I do go ahead and, and um, create a little hummingbird oasis you'll love it 